They're, they're, they're all astonished. The looks of a supermodel. <laughs> the You're power an of a prop forward. But I only kill people if I'm paid a lot of money. And muscles in your spit, that's what I like. <laughs> I, I mean, the thing is, you, you've been modelling for a long time, but how did you go from modelling to being a gladiator? I was always very strong and really into sport, so I thought I'd get into weight training. Although a lot of my friends didn't want me to do it. There were people who were saying, you know, why do you want to be a man? I said, I don't want to be a man, I want to be a strong woman. And it just happened to come up. I used to be watching the American show and I thought I could do that. So LWT, they put it in the paper and I got in touch and that was it, really. So I was the first one they had on the books. I, I mean, was it very arduous being a gladiator? Because you, you've, you, know, you sometimes read about contestants being badly injured and stuff like that. I mean, what about the gladiators themselves? We've all got injuries that we're going to carry forever. I mean, I've got a back problem. Um, Cobra's got a bad back. In fact, he, uh, he asked my husband to stand on his back and you can hear it crack as it goes back into place. Everybody's sort of injured and they're going to carry it forever. I mean, the thing is, if you were a footballer and you needed a hip replacement when you were 50 or something, you go to the PFA, they give you the money. What, what do ex-gladiators do? We cry. <laughs> no, we just we know that goes it goes with the job, and we have to just accept it, really. And you don't you don't live that life for too long. You go on to other things, which is what I've done. And do they kind of sweep it all under the carpet? You know, if any of you complain and say, "Look, it's going to cost." You're not going to try and get me to knock LWT, are you? No, I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> Chance you think will I'm be a fine thing. thing. <laughs> I, I mean, at the moment, you, you, you've actually uh, become uh, a character in a. a computer game, haven't you? Yeah, I'm going to be everywhere next so year. So how did that come about? Probably because I did Gladiators and I was known uh, for being fit. So it, it was the most... Ex <laughs> I don't mean in that way, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... it's Strong. Listen, Nikki, it's called Blade and you yeah. play Amazon in it. Yeah, I know, you? I can't get rid of tags, you know, from okay, Scorpio we'll, we'll, to we'll Amazon. Have a, we'll have a quick look All at right, some of it. Only, uh, in the country, there's only two, two of these sort of techniques that they use, and they get the material that covers cat's eyes in the road, and they put all these sort of baubles all over you, and these giant tripods shine a light down, and all they pick up is the, the, the baubles. I'm not going to say baubles, because I know, you know. <laughs> and uh, wow. so, and so that, that's, it's my movement, so when you see it running and things, it's quite weird, though, because when you see it, you see, like, blood splattered over your face and swords, you know, cutting your head off, and it's quite, quite not experienced what your, head, what your head being chopped off. Do, do you actually play computer games yourself, then? I've got a PlayStation, you know. I'm not exactly that good. I but thought you'd one. be working out all the time. Well, I do that as well. I do a lot. <laughs> I, I, I mean, again, with uh, with things like this, it, you know, when you do a deal for something like being on a computer yeah. game, yeah. did you like? I mean, you can't get repeat fees. Do you get a percentage though of each game that's sold? Or wouldn't that be nice? No. No, you get a fee for doing it, and then obviously there's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a lot of publicity involved in it because it comes out early next year. So I'm going to be sort of travelling around the country. Doing all. In fact, I had a fitting for the costume uh -huh. yesterday. It is so ultra sexy. I mean, it's so cool. It's so low. I mean, it's, it's brilliant. So I'm going to be travelling around the world promoting it. So there's a fair, fair amount of money to be made. Mm, but with the name Amazon, won't we get sued by Sharon Davis? She says, that's, <laughs> that's my gladiator's name. Then, well, she can't do it. Maybe LWT will have a bit of a fit. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she's, she's gone. She's uh, I mean, what, what, what's in the future for you now after this? Well, uh, the computer game. Well, the, the, the most direct thing I've got to do is uh, pantomime. I'm in Plymouth. I'm in Plymouth. Please come and see me at the Theatre Royal at Plymouth all over the Christmas with Sue Parlard and the Demon Headmaster. Oh, all right. Get, don't, get don't get all your plugs in. in. You know, you've got to get the plugs oh, in. Ten miles from, to London and still no sign of Dick. <laughs>